Well, uh, hello and welcome to uh, this uh, lesson. This is about common factors and uh, common multiples. We will start by looking at common factors. So if we take a number like 16, 16 in Francais, it's 16. Okay? And another number in Francais, it's 20. The number 20. Okay? And we are going to look at the uh, the factors of those numbers. Remember, factors are small numbers that go into the larger number. So all the factors of 16 are going to be less than 16 apart from 16 itself. And all the factors of 20 will be less than 20 apart from 20. So normally we look at uh, factor pairs. We look at them in twos. So we have 1, the number 1. And the number 16, that is a pair of factors for 16, or of 16. We have the number 2, and the number 8. And we have the number 4, and the number 4, but we don't uh, put it twice, because uh, 4 and 4, it's the same. So, we have 5 factors of 16. The factors of 20, we have 1, and 20 itself, of course. We also have 2, and we have 10. We don't have 3. 3 does not go into 20. We cannot include it. We do have 4, because 4 fives are 20. 6, no, it does not go into 27. No, it doesn't go into very much at all. Uh, 8 doesn't go into 20. So I think we have all the factors of 20 here. Now, the important thing is common factors. And that is what we are looking at today. Common factors. We are looking for numbers that are the same in both lists of uh, numbers. So we clearly have one, but we are not always so interested in one. Uh, but one is a common factor. We uh, clearly have two. That is common between the two. And we have four. We find 4 in both lists. What we are normally interested in is the, uh, the highest common factor. And a common factor is a factor that appears in both lists. So I'm going to write highest common factor. And where common means it is in both lists. So in this case, we are looking for the number in both lists that is high. And we have 4 here, and we have 4 here. So this is the highest common factor. We often write H, C, F. And in this case, it is 4. Okay, now we are going to look at multiples. So we are going to take two numbers, and we are going to see what the multiples are. And we are going to check whether they are common, whether they are the same. So, we will start with the number 5 here. And we will start with the number 7 here. And we will rub this thing out there. Okay. Uh, and we are now going to list the multiples of 5 and the multiples of 7 in a list. This is really just mul uh, listing the times tables for the two numbers. So... We go 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. And with uh, 7, we go 14, 21. Oh, not good. Let's do this again. 21, voilà, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, et 56. This number here is very important. It is a square number. That is 7 squared. Okay, now we are looking for 
the, uh, the, at the two lists, we want to know where is the common multiple, in other words, where is the multiple which occurs in both lists. And we are most often looking for the lowest common multiple, so the lowest number that is in both lists. Okay? So, the lowest common multiple here, we work our way down the list, like this. We work our way down the list and we find 35 there, and we find 35 there. There is no other number that is lower than 35. So, we say to ourselves, good, this is good, we have found a multiple there of 35 and one there, and they are in both lists. So the lowest common multiple of 5 and 7 is 35. This is also useful in fractions because we often talk about lowest common denominator. And in this case, if we were looking at 5 fifths and 7 fifths, the lowest common denominator would be 30 fifths, 35 fifths. Okay? Thank you. Bye.